We have to put these screws back in. I think there's only two of them. Just to hold the mount on. Yeah, and now what we have to do is we got to put that ball bearing um, back into its spot so you can see the auto. It's right there, right above the auto. Um, come on. So, put that back in there. Then we got to take our aperture ring. Oh, one other thing. We need to make sure you have this. This opens and closes the aperture. Make sure it's about halfway-ish because it's going to fit into this slot here. Um, and then your ball bearing goes into this bunch of notches and that's what goes click, 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 click for your aperture. Um, and of course numbers facing down towards the mount. Hmm. Here we go. And then we're going to mesh that, the box, there it goes. And let's just check, make sure everything's working. Good. Now, um, we have to put that, um, the, the screw back in here that stops the focus from going past uh, infinity and uh, close focus. Yeah, we're almost done. Uh, I guess we can throw this on. We're done with this. So I usually turn things to the left just to make sure that they well, I guess it's make sure they mesh right and in. Good. And now we are going to put our ring on the barrel ring uh, with focus or the scale on it. Um, we're gonna slip this over top of that focus um, screw first, and then slip the back down. Now um, I said uh, you can take leave these screws in, uh, but leave one out, and I'll show you why. Um, I use a flashlight and you can see the old indents where the old screws were. Um, so we're going to line up as best as we can, but I like, to, I like it to be perfect, so I just want to shine a light down in there. Just rotate until I think that's perfect. I'm going to tighten one and then we'll check it again. There we go. Okay, and then uh, you want to make sure that your aperture ring can turn. It's not binding on this. I'm going to check it again. Everything's moving great. Um, okay, we're done that. Man, we're going through caps. We're getting close to the end. Woohoo! Um, so now we are going to put our uh, focus. Let me just check the video. I'm nervous about it quitting all the time now. Um, so there you can see that stopping it on that, um, that screw. So now we're going to put it to infinity or, or around there because we know we went, we started at infinity. So our line should be pretty close to that. Um, so remember, this is why I said, um, you want to scratch the, um, a couple spots on the lens. I cannot see this. Where am I here? Okay. Here we go. So that's why we scratch those two spots so we know exactly where the focus is going, or the three spots. There's the brass, middle ring, and then the two black on either side. Now we know where our focus is supposed to be. Okay. 
to bring this down, but I, I tighten it a little bit, but not too much because I want to be able to adjust when I put, because I'm always touching it and it always moves and stuff. I want it to be just perfect. Rotate that a little bit. That's perfect right there. I'm going to tighten that one now. Now we're just finishing everything. Just always move stuff around, make sure everything's working good. Um, so I'm going to give this another good blowing out. We're ready to put the element back in. Mm, yeah, and these are fine threads. They can be a little bit goofy to put in. Um, again, I rotate backwards until it meshes, and then we're good. And I'm just gonna squash her down. It should be good. Yeah, and then um, what do we got left? Just the uh, the name plate and the um, the filter um, ring. All right, there we go. Make sure everything's working good. Focus is going properly. Yeah, that's exactly right. That's all working. I'm gonna put the nameplate back in now. If you're using tape, you just go until it stops. If you keep, like you wanna push down, but if you go too far, you'll leave, it'll just smear uh, um, uh, glue from the tape. You'll just smear it on the plate and then you gotta clean that. There's a little bit. Woohoo! There we go. Another saved lens. Just gonna clean the elements. Yeah, I hope this helped some of you guys out there. Um, it's a big project, but it's not impossible. You just have to have the right tools and a lot of patience. And I um, hope you enjoyed this. And if you want more weird stuff to look at, I'm reviewing a bunch of this old stuff on uh, my website, canonfastreviews.com. Go check that out. And uh, yeah, let's just make sure. Let's see, do we win? Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh, ho look at that. Isn't that awesome? That's how it's supposed to work. Whew, I'm glad I recovered that guy. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have fun.